Hi, it's Peter Vaughan here, and many of you have been wondering what numerology is all about, and I'm here to give you a video on that subject, and also how I have developed another thing which I've called Latrology. Latrology is like the next level, the next step, the right down the track. It talks about the past, present, and the future. So I'm going to show you here what I've done here at the present stage with Donald John Trump. So when I'm teaching level one, which is, uh, I, I call it a milestone, which means it's got 10 modules in it. The first one is an explanation, uh, an introduction, as it were, to numerology, I guess, but it leads on to a little, a little bit more at the same time. So if you can see, I've got Donald John Trump here, but over here, I've also got an alphabet. And under each part of the alphabet, I've got a number in each of these columns. And the reason I've got them like that in training is because the letter A is the first letter of the alphabet, but the letter J is the tenth letter. Now, if you add the one and zero together, you'll get the number one, which is here. And S is the 19th letter. But if you add one and nine together, you'll get 10. And again, one plus zero is one. So each of these columns, literally, each letter will sum to the bottom digit. So we always teach this first. Now, I've done many, many years of karate. And before I got to the levels that I did later on in life, I had to start with the basics. So every day we'd have to stand there, we'd have to get ready, we'd have to punch backwards and forwards. Every day we had to learn blocks all the time, over and over, until you get it right. Once you get it right, you still practice them. I still practice this every day. I'm using them all the time. So if I'm going to add up a word in my head, I just think of the word, I transpose the letters in my head because I've done it for so long. And now I'm going to teach you how to do that. So here we've got the letters of the alphabet and the numbers below it. I've also got another way of looking at where did the letters come from. So I talked about that in the course. So each of the numbers I will talk about. And I'm talking about them at level one. There is another level of numbers that we look at later on. They are the same numbers but of a higher grade. And I, it's forensic analysis. So let's look at the letters. A. Where did it come from? Well, in Greek, in times when they were pouring hieroglyphs, pouring them up, chiseling them up or painting them on the walls, the letter A originally looked like that, which is the head of an ox. And if you look at it, you can see an ox's head with a yoke across its shoulder that they would attach a plow to, to plow a field, or a cart to, so that the cart could be taken to the marketplace with a, a load of goods on the back. And as the ox represented things changed very quickly in the life, this is where the letter A come from, a rapid change with strength in the letter. The letter J here is the 10th letter of the alphabet, and that has got a backward hook on it, like a fish hook. So it goes into the past and hooks things from the past. It's a past, present, and tense letter. So like a fish hook, it holds on to things which can then be put into the basket which is facing that way, which is history. This is the present, and this is the future. So different letters represent different aspects of time and of events, depending on where they're found. The letter S here, as I've made it kind of really looking a bit wobbly, because on rough ground, the letter S is one that attracts or is easily pushed around by emotion. And unfortunately, people who have the S and they don't understand it, they fill their past up here, the same as the J, but this is a letter of meaningful instability in a younger person. But as an S becomes more mature, they become more stable, a little bit like a yacht that has that long middle piece in the middle, I've forgotten its name off, off by hand, by heart, but that part used to be full of lead, it was very heavy. Keel, the keel, I'm sure it might be the keel. Anyway, it weighs the letter down, so later on you can push the S and it just moves a little bit and says, I don't get moved anymore. So that's what the S represents. So the A was the ox, made things move fast and harder. The, it, the J was a hook, it hooked the past, and there's a reason for doing that. They're great ideas, people. And the emotional memories held by the S. So these are the aspects of why we go into letters and latrology, as I've got up here, 
because metrology is a trademarked work, word, TM. I created it and then I had it trademarked because it represents how letters affect our lives and therefore our futures. So that's that particular aspect of it. Now, what I've done up here then is during course or milestone one, this is actually advanced numerology. So I've got numerology here, I've got a little arrow toward it. Because this can be read in books anywhere and done, but not to the level that needs to be explained to people. So after 40 years, or more now, um, I've been doing this research and I'm still studying daily. Even this morning I was having a, a, a chat with my wife over aspects of this uh, and looking at different things which are going on in the world and where we're headed. It's time for people to get this information so they know what's going on in the mind of Donald Trump. I mean that. What's going on in his mind? What is he going to do next? What does he have to look out for? And those things here, I call them clusters. Now clusters, they're, they're like codes. Um, 11, 13 and 16. No number itself represents anything more or less than anything else. It just says what it is. And I often say to people, would you rather be hit with a yellow flower or a yellow truck? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you might say, oh, well, the yellow flower. Well, they're both yellow. So it depends on where the yellow is and on what is to what effect it'll have on a person. So when we're looking at the aspects of what a person's going to do in their future as opposed to their past, we can track the past but not just track it, we can prove it existed. I should have had a glass of water. <coughs> no COVID here. Um, so when I'm looking at these patterns across here, Donald Trump this year will turn 75. So this year here, right there, is 2021. I'll just put a little circle around that, and there's 221 there. So when we get into advanced numerology, we're going to learn that your birthday is always fixed. That means your birthday and your birth month don't change. But the year that you were born in does change. So Donald Trump will have his year, uh, his birth day this year on the 14th of June or June 14, depends if you're in America. And those two never change, but he'll have it in the year 2021. So we use the birth date like that to find out where a person is in their life. And when we find out that, we know what environment is around them. And in this case here, although I'm not going to explain how, that circle with the seven in it represents he's going to go through a pretty heavy period because it's actually a 16. I'm just going to make, well, 1 and 6 equals 7, 1 and 3 equals 4. And, of course, 1 and 1 and 11 equals 2 which are the basics that will go through here. You can't go on to level two or black belt type training in this until you've mastered the basics and you're really, really good at it. So I have little tests inside each section and they're not hard. The biggest issue or, or challenge for a person might be, I can learn this, I understand it, it's in the book, it's really easy, but practicing, 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 so you do get good at it. Anyway, so, when I'm looking at his birth date, the day that he is born on, which is one of the subjects in the, in the training, it's, it's subject number three, and what it talks about is every day between 1 and 31, they all have a bearing on a person. If I then go and uh, add up the entire birth date, so it's the 14th of June 1946, I'm summing them down to single digits and I'm adding them up. So in every respect, when I'm doing that, 2 plus 2 equals 4, that's what his birthday added up to when he was born. So what? But 4 has a meaning. Like the yellow on the truck and the yellow on the flower, the number 4 has a meaning after this birthday, which would be different than after a name or different after a letter. They're all different, so they've got to be treated as different. No number is the same depending on where it's found. Move, moving right along, so that's numerology, but the numerology I teach is not to be found anywhere else. The way I teach it, because I know how it works. In other words, I can tell you how it works, where it came from, and how it affects our lives. 
Uh, with astrology, we're looking at a timing of the, the heavenly bodies, the planets and the uh, stellar systems up there, and those angles and frequencies that come in from those particular uh, objects affect us. But we've been given a name. And that name is almost like the driver in the car, not just the car, but the driver. Because the driver thinks where the car is going. The car just knows that the wheel's facing this way, it'll go straight ahead. That way it'll turn to its right, turn to its left. The motor's running, but it's got no intelligence. It's the driver, which is where latrology comes in up here. Now these clusters I found over time. When I had to find out what caused a person to be suicidal, it comes from basically one of these numbers here and this number here. When I found they came together, I was able to pinpoint and, and check it. Now I've done well over 100,000 case studies. It's more like getting toward 300,000 over the 40 years. But when I'm looking at case studies and you're looking at sectors, people who are dying in an accident, murdered, uh, violently sexually attacked, predators, criminals, successful people, entrepreneurs, great uh, mechanics and engineers, great cooks and, and masters in and, and every field. They all have an opposite, a positive and a negative, but they're the same, same numerical coding. So looking at the section that I go into in Milestone 2, which is the complex side, it takes longer to learn than this, but it also requires practice literally forever if you want to keep up with it. But the good point is, we have millions of accountants in the world and millions of doctors and certainly more lawyers. But when you're looking at that, each one has to go through a tra training period to become that specialist and then people pay them for their specialty. There's one of me and I'm looking forward to teaching tens of thousands of people this subject because when everybody learns this nobody can cheat you no one can you you'll know what someone's like you do not even have to be in front of a person to know what that person's thinking or prepared to do in their life and you've never met them before many of my clients i've never met they come in and it's just written material and i send packages back to them i send forecasts back to them and i write a little script about what's happening in their life and some of them have been very pleasing to get comments back from, like, how the hell did you know that? This sort of thing. So, what I've got here, which is, I think, really important to tell you, because it's ahead of time. We are now in March of, uh, of 2021. Now, here we are in March. Here's the month of March here, the little letter M. These are the months of the year, January through to December. I've got particular patterns across here that tell me what's happening in Trump's life at this particular time. I've already done stories on what Trump is to experience this year, and, and they have been written down and put up on the web. And so therefore, anyone can look at those because as they unfold, as I'm sure they will, this will just be another markup on, yeah, you got it right. And it's not a case of being, yeah, I got it right. This, the events that are going to come up can be avoided if they're negative if you know when and where and what to do about it. So, I'm looking at the month of March now, here. We move over to April, here. We're gonna to go to May, which is here. And then in the month of June, that's his birthday month, here. In the month of June, I've got the seven and four. I'm not saying where they came from, but they're just there. So what does seven plus four equal? It equals 11. Now this is where, this is getting a bit, in my book, flags are going up, saying, Peter, whoa. And then the next month after May, uh, sorry, June, we're going to July, we've got an eight and a five, 13. So these clusters are coming together. And when they come together, well, that's 16 or seven, which is across the bottom here, that's when somebody needs to know what's going on and at what time, but not just for, for Donald. Not just for him. He's attached to his wife, his children, his close aides, his close friends, family members outside of that. They're all together. So if any one of them is affected seriously, all of them will feel it. So no different than the S when it has an emotional impact or an effect, this can be looked at. And I've done all of this already. 
So what's coming up? You might say, this dude needs to know. I understand what's happening with the world, uh, with the COVID activities going on. I don't want to go into that area, although I'm very up to play on it. I know when a person could get sick and what they should do to avoid it. Uh, personally, no jabs, no swabs. Not interested because I've studied what happens when people can get uh, tainted with, uh, with something you're not looking forward to. So I'm just asking people out there, think and look ahead, do your own research. If you need help, well sure, I'm there to give advice. Uh, it's my business and I, I'm, I charge a fee for that. But if people want really, really to know about things in their life, that's what I'm here for. So chart, so going through milestone one, you're learning the numbers, you're learning the letters, you're learning about people's names, you're learning about what they should be doing in life and the timing of where they are. That's a lot of information. Milestone two, we go into the past, present and future, how to work out the formulas. You're going to see what's going to happen to, um, to uh, Bill Gates. Uh, He's not looking too crash shot soon. Mark Zuckerberg, he's not looking too good either. So are large news medias. They're not looking good either. So I'm kind of saying, well, about time. But somebody has to pull the trigger on it. And I don't mean kinetically. I mean just hit the switch. Because if they do nothing, evil will prevail. You have to do something or evil will prevail. So stand up, people, because you support what they're using to defeat you with. Uh, this is all milestone two. Now, there is a milestone three and a milestone four. Milestone three goes into the psychology and it goes into the structure of people. Everything from a face shape, where your ears are, the colors that a person wears, the way they speak, where their eyes are moving, beyond body language, for sure. Uh, and then beyond that again, we go into physiology, the internals, where I start to work and show people where energy comes from. How 5G, for example, can be explained and, and what it does. I heard a, 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 pop, well, was a, a broadcast today which told me, as I've heard many, many times before and done my own research, what can cause damage. The only reason you're not injured by a microwave is because the door is closed. And you've got little millimetre holes all over the, there's a screen inside the doorway. My background is electrical. I have a lot of knowledge in this area. Microwaves are tiny waves. And if those holes were bigger on your door, you'd get burned. So if you've taken what they call a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, 2.4, nine zeros after it. A lot of energy in there. Imagine it going up to 60 gigahertz. Well, that's funny enough. It stops oxygen from working. Stops oxygen. When I was in a dojo or karate training, it only, I learned it only takes nine seconds to kill a person by stopping their oxygen. And there are ways to do that in a, in a terrible fight. You could literally make a person go unconscious and then let them go, otherwise they'd die. Imagine the atmosphere around your body disappearing of oxygen. Well, there's towers out there and uh, they've got to be careful what you, what you do with them. So. This is what I get into in level four. By the time a person gets to level two, you could become a master in this field. The interest goes beyond that. I'm gonna cut the tape off here now. Thank you for watching. And if you thought this was interesting, would like to do this course, this course, the price of this course for the first two here. I understand in the fields of bark flower remedies or, or not Reiki, uh, anyone who does anything which is quite intense and understanding how things really work with the human body and, and making it better using holistic type ideals. NLP, for example, which is another great tool. And so is um, all the bark flowers and all those remedies. They're brilliant. They really help the body. Organics, natural stuff. If you learn those fields, you can be paying between six, sorry, it's actually nine to 14 odd thousand dollars for a real proper course. Well, these two here together are about five. And I'm looking at helping as many people as I can. So if you are looking at interest in doing this over a period of time, get hold of me. I'm going to be teaching the world. Be part of it. Be part of the movement because lots of people are going to be wanting you soon and they'll happily pay you for it. So earn on your investment. Thanks for watching. My name is Peter Vaughan. I'm the world's only electrologist and uh, I want to teach a lot more people to be one of those as well. Thanks again. Take care out there.
take care out there and thanks.